Hi, my name is Christian Hernandez, and I'm from the Cloud Services BU over at Red Hat. In this video, I'm going to be going over progressive application delivery with GitOps. Now, those of you who are familiar with Argo CD, this diagram here may look a little familiar. But in essence, you have usually the deployment of Argo CD involves Argo CD pulling in Kubernetes manifests from a source of truth like Git. In this instance, maybe someone out there will have a Kubernetes cluster that's OpenShift running uh, OpenShift Service Mesh, which is based on Istio. Now, this is a common pattern. However, th this poses a few challenges, particularly with the dynamic nature of Istio and by extension, OpenShift Service Mesh. The dynamic aspect of it is when you want to perform a progressive rollout, for example, like a canary rollout where you want to send some percent of the traffic to a certain subset of users while monitoring how that release is going uh, for those users, and then make a decision on whether or not to um, release the full, um, uh, the full version of the, new, of, of, the, of the new version of the application. So the problem with that is that Argo always tries to keep your cluster in sync with the source of truth. So you're left with very few choices, right? One of them is being, um, you can just pause reconciliation while the uh, Canary rollout is happening. Um, you can have Argo CD ignore differences, right? So that way it won't try to do a uh, sync for that um, uh, sync, the single source of truth to the, to the current running state. Or you can use a, another controller that does rollouts, uh, specifically built to do rollouts. This is where Argo rollouts comes in. So Argo rollouts works hand in hand with Argo CD and also with your um, uh, with your traffic um, manager provider, in this case, Istio or uh, OpenShift Service Mesh, and to perform some of these uh, canary rollouts. So Argo rollouts does this um, uh, in two ways, right? So first it has its own controller called a rollout that basically it, it, uh, it's a drop-in replacement for your deployment. And in there, you set things like upper and, and lower limits um, and really a policy of how you want to roll out your application. So you can tell Argo rollouts, look, I want you to start with sending 10% of the traffic to the canary and increase it by 10% until you get to the 100%. And Argo roll, rolls out does that, um, uh, does that for you while working with Argo CD, so that way Argo CD won't um, try to reconcile that during your rollout. Another way it accomplishes this, and I think it's very um, a very uh, more important thing that it does, is that it analyzes how that Canary rollout is doing. And it does that by connecting to a backend metric provider, so for open surf, uh, service mesh. And for most people, that'll be Prometheus. Argo rollouts will not only perform the rollouts, right? For example, uh, send 10% of the traffic to the canary, but uh, between each step, it will query Prometheus and it'll query Prometheus with whatever parameters you tell it to, right? Maybe you're looking for network latency. Maybe you're looking for um, HTTP um, errors, right? Or maybe you're looking for disk this, um, slowness. Whatever Prometheus, um, uh, information Prometheus gives you is something that Argo rollouts can consume and analyze. So in the end, what you end up with is that you have not only an automated way to do progressive rollouts that is GitOps friendly, but it's also metrics based. And not only is it metrics based, it's also policy based because not only um, you're monitoring your uh, rollout in the canary while also um, while well, also defining the policy of what to do in case there's an error when you are consuming that metric. So for example, um, if there's errors above um, 95%, right? So if you get more than um, you know 5% errors, then I want you to automatically roll back. So not only do you get an automated way to roll out, but an auto way to, automated way to roll back. So how does that look like? So real quickly in this demonstration, what I'm going to show is that I have an application here managed um, uh, that is currently just showing yellow squares, right? And this is on a OpenShift cluster. 
right? So just real quick on this OpenShift cluster running that application, I am uh, running Red Hat um, OpenShift Service Mesh, which has its dependencies here listed, and also OpenShift GitOps. On the cluster as well, I am running um, Argo rollouts. So uh, this is being managed naturally by Argo CD, and this is the application with its uh, rollouts here. So um, let's uh, go through. Uh, let's go through a progressive rollout. Normally, people will, are going to demo a, um, a a success. I'm actually going to demo a failure. So for here, let's just uh, look at the customization file here and notice how it says that I'm going to de I'm deploying yellow. That's the current state. Um, I'm going to change this to blue. Right. Uh, before I commit this to Git, I kind of want to show you some some things here. Um, uh, the the rollout, um, uh, the the rollout object that I mentioned before, has a policy of of setting um, the weight to thirty percent traffic, waiting for twenty seconds. Set the weight to forty percent of traffic, wait ten seconds. Sixty percent of traffic, wait ten seconds, and so on and so forth. Uh, but between those steps. What Argo CD, uh, what Argo rollouts is going to do is Argo is going to run an analysis, and this is what this section is: is I'm running an analysis. And what does that look like? So, looking at the analysis template is basically I'm going to query Prometheus, and this is the query I'm going to run. Um, in in this case, I'm looking for 500 errors, um, and run every 10 seconds, and collect about 30 seconds of sample data. Um, and this query could be any Prometheus query you want. It doesn't have to be a specific query. It could be whatever, um, um, it, anything that Prometheus can take in, um, you can then consume the results of that. So um, right now, if I go over here and I do a um, uh, Argo rollouts, use the Argo rollouts plugin for, for the kubectl slash OC utility. It says that I have a canary running. Uh, sorry, I have a um, uh, my my stable uh, version right here is the yellow, right? And I have, um, you know, I'm I'm on revision two, and I'm running these replicas, and everything is hunky dory, right? Everything's healthy, right? And so then I made the change to blue, so let's uh, let's add that. Um, let's do right in a normal uh, GitOps fashion. Uh, let's go. This is blue, and then let's. Uh, it's gonna push it to. Um, I'm gonna push this to main, which is the branch I'm, I'm tracking. So let's run a watch on this. Uh, so let's run there, and then let's um, let's trigger. Let's trigger a rollout. So what's happening here is that um, that's going to trigger a rollout. If I go back to this here, as you can see, it um, it triggered a canary, right? So now I have a canary release that is uh, showing the the blue, right? As you see here, it says blue for the canary. And if I go here, you see automatically that thirty percent of the traffic is blue. Now, let's introduce an error. Let's just say there was a network error or some kind of error in this uh, rollout. So now I'm going to send back a 500. As you can see here, these are um, that's what the uh, the red squares are here for. These are errors I am sending back to the um, uh, to the backend. As you can see here, an analysis ran. First, it ran healthy, but as I turned on the errors, it ran. It got a failure. So now I got two failures. So after two failures, um, this will roll back. So here. I'm still sending it, right? I'm still within the threshold of my error rate. And um, as you can see here, it says it's degraded. My application automatically rolled back to yellow. And Argo CD uh, then marked the application as degraded because it failed the, um, the canary rollout, right? And so here, what ended up happening is that um, as the Argo rollouts um, rolled out the change to the canary. It queried Prometheus, and you know, in in this case, I was looking for five hundred errors. It said, "Oh, you have you know more than ninety, um, more than five percent of errors." 
I'm going to roll this back to the previous version because there's just, you know, you set the parameters and you set the policy and the policy says to roll back. So I'm going to roll back. And as you see here, the message is um, roll back, uh, roll out aborted because um, uh, that you reached the failure limit of, of your of your rollout. So now if I go back here, um, it's back to yellow. As you notice down here, it went blue for a little bit. There was too many errors. I'm going to roll that back. So let's say, um, and that's like an error rate, right? How do I, um, make, once it's failed, how do I succeed? Let's just say it was a network issue. It was something out of the developer's control, right? Let's uh, come back here. I'm going to reload the page so we start fresh. Um, you can then, at this point, um, uh, retry the rollout. And then this will then automatically uh, retry that, that same revision, right? I want to go back to blue. Um, and in this case, since I'm not sending back any errors, this should uh, roll out um, completely with success. Let's wait for a, an analysis run. It looks like um, it's about to do an analysis run. Um, this was from the previous analysis run. Um, the analysis run is the thing that I showed you before about the um, uh, querying Prometheus. It looks like it's running a new analysis run. And yep, I'm getting green check marks. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, invite you to try out Argo rollouts in your workflow today. Thank you.